here we are with Team Red Bulls from University of Utah, our Adobe Analytics Challenge champions. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. First Thanks. place winners. And so my first question for you, very tough one. Tell me a little bit about the experience. What, what was unique about it? Man, uh, to be honest, we, we got together as a team and we, we just decided to have fun with it. We got together in Philip's basement, put on some techno music. He's got like seven monitors in the basement. And we just, <laughs> you know, we just, our attitude was we're gonna have fun, we're gonna dive into the data, and we just, we just really enjoyed working together. Yeah. I think that was. Yeah, it, what was really fun is like trying to find the story. Like the data is just, like in real world examples, it's so hard to figure out what's going on. And so we're like, all right, guys, let's uh, let's down some Red Bulls. Let's get this going. <laughs> and uh, we, we spent a lot of time, but it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. So. Yeah. Uh, I particularly enjoyed the individual contributions. You know, every once in a while, somebody would make a breakthrough. And we have one example that's going to go down in history where <laughs> Cam sent us a message on Slack. And he said, guys, I figured it all out. And we're like, whoa, whoa, OK. What is it? And it he happened. goes on to explain this big thing, and that's what was the topic of our next meeting. And, and that happened and over and over again. That yeah. was it, it was a couple <laughs> of times that we had those types of revelations. Me. So it, it was, it was awesome. Right. The two good tips to take away from that. Number one, techno music is required, as is <laughs> yes, a lot of Red absolutely. Bull. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Very <laughs> helpful <laughs> tips. Thanks, <laughs> guys. Uh, next question I have for you. Um, so what, what did you learn? You know, what was particularly interesting and in that, that you learned from interacting with real data from T-Mobile, a premier brand in the universe and one of our favorites here at Adobe. Yeah. Uh, clearly, mm. you know, you're well branded. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, what did you learn that, that was maybe a surprise? Um, I'll start off by saying that we came up with some kind of brainstorming assumptions about what we think the data might say. Um, but when we dive into the data, I mean, the data told a t totally different story of what we were expecting. I think we went into customer interest score and we were expecting that to have a positive relationship with orders placed. And we were shocked when we saw, wow, it's actually strongly a negative relationship. And so um, I think navigating through data and pulling out stories that go against our original assumptions kind of was my big takeaway. Great. Yeah, for me, it seemed like uh, if, if you transplant this experience into the business world that there's the idea of, uh, of you know, you're going to need help. And you, you and I talked about this yesterday, knowing who the right person to ask when you need some information is going to be critical. And, oh, yeah. and there are a lot of times when not having really somebody to ask resulted in, okay, let's just dive in, let's try it five different ways, let's see what the data says, let's see if it matches up. And, and that was our, met, our preferred method, right, which is, you know, labor intensive. But, uh, but it, it highlighted to me the importance of communicating effectively in an organization when you're trying to solve problems. And I, w I would just end that um, <clears throat> you really have to tell a story. And the, the, the most powerful data analysis is only as impactful as this, the uh, shareholders understand it. So I hope, I hope we did that to some degree. But just being able to tell the story of what, what does the data, like, so what about the data? You know, we mm -hmm. found this great analysis. What does that mean? Um, I thought that was valuable. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Th I, I mean, it showed. You guys told a great story. Clearly, you've done the hard work finding the, the interesting nuggets of data and recommendations, but if you can't express that information successfully to the executives in the room, the VPs in the room mm -hmm. that are going to be making the decisions as to whether or not they believe you and to follow through, then what's the point of doing the work in the first place? Exactly. Well said. Were yeah. you biased? Was that I biased? Our story was <laughs> yeah. Your photo was on there. Uh, that, so. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> you may not know this, but uh, this team did a great job sprinkling a very handsome man throughout <laughs> all of their slides. <laughs> um, so, so the next question I have for you is to tell, tell us a little bit about um, your experience working with Analysis Workspace, the Adobe Analytics solution that you were working with today. Was it, where, how, what, what was surprising about it? What, what, what did you like? Yeah. I want to start with this, actually. So. It's a, it's a solution or tool with a lot of power. And uh, at first it seems overwhelming, but I found that as I dragged and dropped items and, and started to build charts, that it actually started to make intuitive sense quickly, which, which you know, a lot of the time you use a tool and there are so many buttons and so many things you can press and you're just not sure where to go. But I found that it was relatively quick actually to learn by doing with the analytics tool. And, and as a result, I really feel like I, I've, I've gotten to know it and, mm -hmm. and I feel, a sense of loyalty to it. Um, I, yeah, I thought I, it was very powerful mm -hmm. and relatively easy to learn. Good. Yeah, once we once we passed the original learning curve, 
towards the end of our presentation, we were finally like, well, we're presenting in two days, but we finally got a grasp on the tool, <laughs> and we felt enabled to come up with any insight that we needed. The start, of the, the start of the competition, I think it would take us a while to come up with the data that we really wanted to pull, but towards the end, we were just like, hey, pull that, and two seconds later, it was right in front of us, and yep. it became yeah. extremely intuitive, easy to use, yeah. We I worked at a much faster speed throughout. <laughs> it was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Kept getting yeah. faster I and thought faster. Mm -hmm. the ability to build metrics is so powerful and awesome, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I just think that you can do so much with that, taking what data that already exists and building metrics out of it, yeah. it was just awesome. That yeah. helped a lot. So. Yeah, great. <laughs> So the, the more you work with it, the faster you get. Now you're masters of the workspace universe. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Ready to conquer the world. Adept. Right. Adept. <laughs> right. Blue belts. So um, <laughs> let's see. Second to last question here. Uh, what would you tell students considering to join the competition next year? Well, what advice do you have for them? Just do it. Join. Just do it. Yeah. There's I never could have expected <laughs> the end result, right? Um, when you sign up, it's hard to see the end of the road, but it's extremely rewarding mm. and work, interesting yeah yeah totally worth it. and and have fun pick people I mean we didn't actually select our team but the fact that we were able to you know debate with each other and and, and have fun while doing it and come up with these insights Definitely. wait you yeah. didn't select your team how were you grouped together we were there's an application process chosen at you. so oh, uh, all right we Our didn't know who each other were but uh, it was fun to get to know each other and and it worked out Good. Yeah, yeah, it good. seems like a good application process. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, well, so you, you've got now an extra $35,000 worth of uh, prize money to split between the three of you. <laughs> you've got gar guaranteed interviews with T-Mobile and Adobe. What are you most excited about? Is it spending the money, the interviews, a little bit of both? And if, you're, and if you say money, you've got to tell me what you're going to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, for me, the, the interviews are gold um, you know contacts with tech firms like Adobe and T-Mobile are gold and and I just have the strong feeling that this competition has dramatically altered my professional mm -hmm. trajectory and yeah. and that that's priceless you know, there's yeah. really no way to do that and you could pay me thirty five thousand dollars a hundred times and it wouldn't be worth the same as you know the idea that I'm moving closer to my end goal yeah, yeah. For me as well, to, to create relevant data insights for a big company like T-Mobile, um, it, it really affected me knowing that I enjoyed that to continue to want to do it in my career. And so knowing that I could potentially do that for a company like Adobe or T-Mobile, I, I just get amped up like that. So the experience yeah. was everything for me. Good. Yeah. I'll definitely take the 10 grand. I mean, I'm not <laughs> totally wrong. but uh, yeah, the, the contacts, the experience, um, getting to know people in the industry and learning how to apply, um, you know, data analysis and in actual real life, uh, is so valuable. Super, super cool. Awesome. Well, there you have it. Team Red Bulls from University of Utah, champions of Adobe Analytics Challenge. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, guys. Hey, thank, thank you. You did so well. Appreciate it. Really <laughs> proud of you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. <laughs>